Sightseers turned out to see the American Space Shuttle Enterprise as it flew over Scotland. The spacecraft, riding piggyback on a jumbo jet, flew first across Glasgow and then on to East Kilbride, where it was meant to form part of the birthday celebrations for the Rockwall Corporation factory there. But its mission, to boldly go where no space shuttle had gone before, rather misfired, as Nicholas Cowie reports. The American Space Shuttle Enterprise entered Scottish airspace after a journey from London via Birmingham and Manchester. Thousands had turned out for a glimpse as it rode piggyback aboard a jumbo jet. It passed over Glasgow Airport and then right over the city centre, which as it turned out was the best vantage point. For at East Kilbride, the Rockwell Corporation were meant to be getting a rather special birthday present. In America, the company are the main contractors for the shuttle, so the local development corporation arranged for it to fly over the factory to celebrate one year in the town. I put forward the idea to Rockwell, first of all, and to the air traffic control people, and they readily agreed. And then, of course, coincidence upon coincidence, I discovered that it was the day of the actual anniversary, first anniversary of the opening of the Rockwell factory. Are you surprised at the number of people that have come out? I'm absolutely astonished and delighted at the number of people. Oh, there it oh, is. Oh, there it is. Or rather, there it very nearly wasn't. Parties of school children had waited all morning. Cars queued right down the road, but the shuttle missed East Kilbride by miles. All anyone got was a glimpse on the horizon. All too soon, the Enterprise had boldly gone. But there was a consolation prize, a birthday cake and a model of the wayward spacecraft. It might not be as newsworthy as the real thing, but it was much easier to focus on. A Scottish sheriff went into the witness box at the High Court in... Space Shuttle Enterprise. The shuttle was due to fly piggyback style on a Boeing jumbo jet over the Rockwell International Valve Manufacturing Plant at the New Town, a factory which today was celebrating its first birthday. Rockwell's parent company in Pittsburgh are the main contractors for the shuttle. Some of the most elaborate photographic equipment was brought out for the occasion and amateur radio hams spent most of the morning trying to tune in to the voice of the American pilot. Rockwell's 64-strong East Kilbride workforce broke off work for the flypast and the wait began for the first sighting of the shuttle. But few caught a glimpse of the craft in the hazy sunshine and most were disappointed as the expected circuit of the factory didn't happen. The shuttle was said to be running against time and had to press on to Iceland before crossing back to the United States. The school children at least got an idea of what this elusive aircraft looked like in the form of a Rockwell factory model. But still, apart from that, feelings of disappointment ran high. Well, I think it's grim. I left Edinburgh at 7 o'clock this morning. No, well, I saw nothing. And you, you, your camera doesn't even no, have a picture no, of it? No, never even got a picture. A bit of a disappointment. Well, sure. I mean, and thousands, well, hundreds other there. Terrible, Hank. <laughs> well, we're very disappointed that we missed out on it, that it was so far away, we really couldn't get a good view of it, you know. Well, I thought I'd seen it coming up uh, back here, but a lot of them say it wasn't. I was a very, <laughs> very disappointed about it, especially for the children that's come here today. You obviously yeah. thought you'd see more, or at least see yeah. something. Oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. But at least some people saw the Enterprise today. The shuttle flew past Glasgow Airport before leaving Scottish airspace. Good job news now for Clyde. ...left Stansted Airport in Essex the way it had arrived, piggyback on a jumbo jet. Enterprise attracted more than half a million visitors in the past three days, and those who'd stayed on were rewarded with a special fly past. A short time later, perfectly on schedule, the shuttle was flown over Birmingham. Thousands had lined the rooftops to have a look. The Americans are hoping Enterprise's visit to Europe will attract companies who want to use the shuttle to launch commercial satellites. And strictly for the spectators, they allowed it to fly low over several British cities before heading for the Atlantic.